Hello everyone, this is Keybox. In this video, as I promised you before, I'm presenting you the Magic Attempter PvE DPS setup for any patch. In this current patch, we are in the Deadlands, and the new DLC for the dungeons is on the way, but there is no change. So you can use this setup on the next patch and also in the High Isles chapter as well. So, we will start off with the attribute points if we go in our character this is completely unbuffed and the front bar we have 32.5k maximum health you may wonder why so i do put 64 into health and 19k maximum magicka 1.3k magicka recovery with uh, nearly 13k maximum stamina and 57.3% uh, spell crit with 4,673 spell damage alongside with uh, good spell and physical resistances, they are unbuffed. And we are using the Thief Mander Stone, Red Frodgar Foot that gives uh, max health and magicka recovery. As well as uh, the spell damage potion. It gives us a Magicka, Magicka Recovery, Major Sorcery, Major Prophecy, Spell Damage 20% and uh, Crit Damage as well, uh, Crit Chance as well. When I just pop that up, we reach basically 5.5k Spell Damage, which is nice. And the foot, as you can see, it is Orzorga's Red Fraud Car foot, 5.5. 4k max health and 500 magic recovery. You may think like, why I did put everything into health? Because this patch, it doesn't matter. Uh, nothing scales off with your maximum magicka. It scales off either spell or weapon damage or your highest offensive stat. And for that reason, uh, we push the health basically. I will also put a little bit gameplay to this video into the end of the video and I will put the description and the time steps time stamps down in the description as well the second thing so you may consider what sets that I'm running so the first set is obviously the Basse Mania it's a five piece armor body and uh, we get spell damage five percent more damage crit chance and again spell damage and increase your damage down to non-player enemies by up to 15% based on your missing magicka. Basically uh, having low magic is definitely increasing the Basse proc. So it is nearly always up. It is always up the Basse and it is uh, it needs to be uh, less than 30%. Your magicka needs to be less than 30% to get uh 15 percent basically damage done for this to work so chest shoulder waist legs and the feet is all of them divines and five piece and uh one piece um monster set slime crawl just to get a crit chance it is divines and with the maximum health glyph Everything is a maximum magic. Everything else is a maximum magic, keep in mind. And uh, we are using the mythic item. It is also Divine Stasian. It is also light armor. When you kill enemy, you basically uh, get a stack up to 50. And uh, you cannot crouch or travel with that. So when you just proc it, just make sure that you don't crouch or something like that. And the... Uh, Negative effect that reduces the damage shield, it doesn't matter, by the way. It just doesn't matter. And um, you get 1150 spell damage, which will let you to nuke the things right away. On the back part, we have my storm perfected inferno stuff infused with uh, weapon and spell damage cliff. Who are you? Again. And. Um, as you know, it buffs, gives you penetration and uh, more damage, basically, when you put the elemental blockade. And on the front bar, we have daggers. 
two daggers, one learn hound, one precise. If you want, you can do the offhand charge it. But also, if you want, you can go two precise as well. And uh, you will basically reach to 60% with two precise. 60% crit chance, so you can see 3.6% it is giving crit. And uh, if you run, you will get a 60% spell crit with two precise daggers. And the main hand is a poison damage, and the off hand is a flame damage. And three jewelry with the blood torsi. I'm sorry, I have blue, I didn't gold it out yet. Three jewelry blood torsi with spell damage glyphs on it. The panel is 9 trade craftable set. Penal is a 9 damage, uh, Penal is a 9 trade craftable set as well, keep in mind, and it gives you very good things. So, weapon and spell damage, offensive penetration and the spell damage again. And when you kill enemy, you gain a damage shield that absorbs up to 20k damage for 10 seconds and a stack of white strike for 10 seconds as well. Each stack of white strike gives you 100 spell damage. But it will let you to take 323 Oblivion damage every second up to 10 stacks. This damage shield scales off to higher of your weapon or spell damage and damage scales off your maximum health. So it is basically uh, kind of nerfing you, okay? It is, uh, if you can see, let's kill some enemies right here. I just want to quickly... Show it to you, and uh, we just kill this one, and before that, we're gonna kill this dude as well. So you can see my health is going down, and uh, it is dealing me uh, 1.2k at this moment. But um, it is also giving me a shield as well. If you look at that, if you look my health bar. You will see the shield is getting up, getting up, and basically getting up. And the good thing, the shield scales with your spell damage. You can see it went up to 21k. When you are completely buffed, it gives you 40k damage shield. 40,000 damage shield. But also it deals you oblivion damage. So you can see on the set right now it says 316 oblivion damage every second. But when we do this and we kill that one, okay, we get another stack of Tassian. Yeah. And when we look at the set, it goes down to 315 right now. And uh, basically, it is dealing you 10% of the damage. Every time you kill enemy, you get 1% damage per second up to 10 stacks maximum in uh, 10 seconds. So the maximum thing that you will get uh, is 10% uh, of your damage, 10% uh, of your health as a damage. But another thing is useful when you get a Tassian, it reduces your health by 6,000. So the health we had, uh, we had here will go down to 27k. And when you have 27k health, basically the panel, even if you are at the full stack, you're gonna get 2,700 damage per second. Keep in mind, 2,700 damage you will get as an oblivion damage and um, the good thing okay another good thing is um, you have a damage shield when you kill enemy it is going up to 40k okay the Tassian reduced the damage shields as well but it doesn't matter at worst you will get 20k shield on yourself constant okay you will always have a shield on you but you will have a 2.7k damage on yourself so 
For that reason, we have some negates like uh, something like this, channeled focus, extended ritual, or something like that to negate the damage that you are getting, which is crazy. So you are not getting any problem from the panel that deals damage to you, okay? Um, so for that reason, we can negate the panel nerf on you and uh, Tassin as well. And Tassin is kind of useful for reducing your health, so you get less damage. So you need to heal yourself less, basically. And those are the item sets. We will move into skills right now. The front bar, dagger bar, we have radiant operation, 500 more damage, 500% more damage, basically when they are below 50% health, and it deals very huge amount of the damage. And also, just a notice, we are not vampire. Keep in mind, we are not vampire. We have camo hunter, we have inner light for more crits, we have power of the light, it's uh, reduced, uh, basically it is uh, reducing the physical and spell, res spell resistances by 3k for 9 seconds when you mark someone. You don't need purifying light, or you can, uh, if you are two Templar in a group, one of the member can run purifying light and the other one can run power of the light. It doesn't matter, this skill will hit like a truck. It doesn't matter what morph you are using. But the stamina is very good, keep in mind. This is very good. We have puncturing sweep that also procs the burning uh, proc, burning light proc from the passive as well. <coughs> Apologies. And also you heal 40% of the damage done with disability. And ultimate is full of the stun breaker you can drop. It is a damage over time, it hits physical and it is increasing your spell damage by 300 for 20%. This is very nice. On the back bar, we have channel acceleration for more crit damage. I don't want to, I don't want to use a, a trap beast. You can still use it on the front bar though, but this setup is this way that you use in Camo Hunter and uh, Inner Light is much better than removing one of it and putting the trap beast. It is worse, okay? Keep in mind, this is worse. You have channel acceleration, it gives you speed and the crit damage, this is very useful. Unstable wall of fire to proc the milestorm. You have extended ritual to heal yourself and uh, remove the harmful effects from you. Channel focus for more sustain, blazing spear for more damage, and uh, the ultimate, the real ultimate that you are going to drop is the destruction stuff ultimate, which is fury rage. So I am, as an extra, I am high elf, probably this is the best race you can play with that. And uh, you will get every passive, undaunted, sigic, mages, fighter skilled, etc. if you want. And uh, you can get light armor passives, destruction passives, <coughs> as well as dual wield passives in here as well, because you need them to get the most out of it. Ruffian, Twin Blade and Blunt, and Dual Wield Expert. And Restoring Light, Dance Red, and Edric Spear passives as well. You need all of those. And those are the skills. We will go into the champion point now. So um, in here, uh, in the blue one, first of all, you can get everything that you could according to your champion point. And after this, the first thing that you are going to assign is a fighting finesse. 10% more crit damage. I always used backstabber, but this is like all in or nothing situation if you are not flanking the enemy. So it is better to use fighting finesse and you get always 10% crit damage and crit healing. So this is good. And the second one is the dead lame, increase your damage done with single target attacks by 10%, which affects many of our skills. And we have master at arms, increase your damage done with direct damage attacks by 10%, this is also very beautiful to have. And biting aura, increase your damage done with AoE attacks by 10%, which 
all of the Templar skills counting as an AoE damage anyways, except Power of the Light and Radiant Operation. I tried Tarmaturge and I removed a Biting Aura, I tried Tarmaturge and removed Deadly Aim and all, I tried all of them, but if you remove Deadly Aim, the damage you lose is so insane. You saw this three biting aura, deadly aim, and master at arms is a must have. Must have, trust me, it is must have. I tried every combination. I tried back saber fighting finesse and deadly aim, master at arms, and all etc. Those four, but that doesn't work with the fight like this one. So, fighting finesse. Deadly Aim, Master at Arms and Biting Aura is the blue one that you must get. And another thing, since we are using Dagger and Poison and Flame, you get more weapon and spell damage from War Mage and also from the Mighty as well when you Light Attack. So you get a lot damage from here, keep in mind. And you can get the rest of it as you can, as much as you can get basically. The red one, we have maximum health, you will need 27-ish K with that setup. I will also show you the maxed out, fully buffed um, stats as well, okay? We have Boundless Vitality, 1.4K maximum health, and the second one is the Bastion. Increase the effectiveness of your damage shield so it will nerf the Tassin nerf a little bit so you can mitigate that nerf on you, the shield that you will get from Pelnil by 15% basically. So this is very useful. And in here we have sustained by suffering suffering 150 health, magic, and stem recovery when you have negative effect on you. This is very good and you need it. And the last one is Siphonic Spells. You restore 1500 Magicka whenever you kill an enemy. So this is like a false god. So you need it. And apart from it, you can get anything that you want. Anything. Vigor, Sprinter, like Tumbling, Defiance, or like a Fortification in here. Those ones, Savage Defense, Tireless Guardian, bashing brutality and all you can get all those things according to your champion point you can increase your movement speed while sprinting and all and you don't need fortified or rejuvenation keep in mind you don't need those things as well that being said and uh, fixed out i will like to show you the basically maximum stats right now with the 50 stack Tassian and uh, what is the health, spell damage, etc. So if you give me a moment right now. As you can see, we have a uh, 10,000 spell damage basically. So when you have that kind of weapon damage, it is uh, very powerful and this is crazy damage. Like you can destroy anything that comes to your mind, okay? Like it is very powerful and uh, good thing it is just testing and this is always uh, up. So those are the maximum stats and um, I like to tell you that this is not the end of the builds that I'm gonna do and show you, present you. I'm, I, I was working on the crazy setups recently too much and uh, I li literally found a lot of new ways to play this game now and uh, the game thanks to Zenimax giving us uh, very different setups with those hybridization and all things and I will leave you with the little new gameplay from the Black Rose Prison. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, comment below what you think about it. And see you on the next build video, guys. Have fun. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.